Melanotan 2, the Tanner drug. Definitely crazy drug out there, everyone. You got to check this out. People get addicted to this for the tanning aspect and also for the sexual side effects of this drug. It's an unlicensed agent, never a drug anywhere marketed in the world, been around for about 20 years, started off with a research into how you can get better tanning without sun. This is amazing that the availability of this drug is so easy to get and it's so cheap on the peptide sites. Absolutely unbelievable, huge epidemic of this drug. It's a form of alpha melanocyte stimulating hormone. The variant of melanotan 1, which is a drug that's been utilized to treat a very rare disease called erythropoietic protoporphyria, which is an enzyme deficiency that leads to serious sun skin sensitivity and liver disease. Again, very rare genetic mutation where people have an enzyme deficiency. The mechanism of action of melanotan 2 is a non-selective agent that's a form of alpha melanocyte stimulating hormone and it stimulates obviously pigmentation in the dermis, pigmentation of the skin, number one. Next is it goes into the central nervous system and it stimulates sexual arousal and functional spontaneous erections. It works in the CNS somewhere directly stimulating the areas of the limbic system that relate to sex. Absolutely unbelievable. Other aspects of this drug, and then we'll talk about the side effects, it has relevance to GI tract, immune system, cardiovascular system, and inflammatory mediators. It's taken in loading doses, subcutaneously injected, different regimens, and then once it's stabilized, people just use it depending on the dose and the tan and the effects regularly. I've seen people on this drug for months at a time, months and months at a time. There is definitely an addiction to it because they love the tan, it works. Even for people that are very fair skinned like myself, I've never used it, guys, and it has, perpetual effects, at least when you're on it, to increase your sexual function, spontaneous erections and libido. Uh, across the board for women too. Absolutely incredible drug. Hours after subcutaneous administration, men experience spontaneous erections and they feel more sexual. And when they have erections, they're better erections. Absolutely incredible. Another incredible feature is there's this spontaneous stretching and yawning, ah, you just want to yawn, you just want to stretch. Very peculiar, something going on in the central nervous system, some overlap stimulation on that yawning reflex and that stretch reflex. Side effects, from the benign to the less benign. Facial flushing, then there's palpitations. People, and this is of course individually based and dose dependent. There's palpitations, a lot of people feel palpitations that can be really, really uh, bad, and they end up going to the ER. I don't know if there's been any deaths in this drug, but I'd like to hear comments, please, from you guys. Please comment here, as this is my channel. It's a medium to bring people unbiased, educational videos on all PEDS. So please comment. It really helps the community. Hypertension. Now, other common side effects are gonna be nausea, even severe vomiting, dose dependent, person dependent. But people say that there'll be some nausea a little bit, depending on the dose, they use these very small doses and they increase them as people obviously adjust to them, to the dose. And the nausea seems to be tolerated very minimally. Some people don't get it at all, dose dependent, and they move on. Other side effects, and amazing side effects, and I wanna get some dermatologists on this, it definitely changes the skin tone, it changes the skin color, and it will change and bring out freckles and moles. And when I read in my research on this, I wondered, can it cause melanoma, which is a deadly skin cancer, 
more for fair-skinned people in the world. But does it just change the moles? It makes it difficult to detect because it's just changing the skin color and they can't really determine in that mole, is it cancerous or not? So that's a question for dermatology experts. Please come out. I want to hear about that. Next, rhabdomyolysis and kidney disease. Now, under hard training, who uses this? Bodybuilders, fitness people, they're training hard. So I've seen people end up in the ER on this and they, they've looked like they've had some slight kidney injury on this, but is it from this drug? And again, these are anecdotes. These are anecdotal stories that people have told me. There's so many other drugs in the mix, we just don't know. There's no studies on this at all. But rhabdomyolysis, you'll see, and, and kidney injury, acute kidney injury leading to potentially chronic injury with superimposed on all the antibiotic steroids, all the other drugs, and the hypertension and the cardiac issues, we just don't know. Got to be careful. Encephalopathy, that's central nervous system disease, and seizures, that's in the literature if you look online on this stuff. Now, I think what's really amazing that I've had anecdotes from patients is if I cared for thousands of men that have used steroids and every pet in the world, and that's why I present this information to you guys, there is a drug, a derivative called PT-141, bremelantide, and that is a real drug that the FDA just cleared in America, June 2019, called Valisi. And this is for generalized hypoactive sexual desire disorder for women, not for men. So this is a concentrated, focused derivative of melanotannin 2, PT-141. Absolutely been out there for years. You can buy this too on those peptide sites. You'll see both drugs you can buy. Very cheap. Now this is just more potent without the tan. So they've kind of cleaned up the molecule without the tan, and it just goes to the sexual aspects in the brain. Now, I've had several patients tell me that they've gotten addicted to this for the sexual side effects. And these are men that are using steroids, their sex function is up and down, and then they end up coming across this drug, they take it for sex, and they enjoy it, and they use it, and they get reliant on it. And I had a patient tell me years ago, Doc, please make sure no one uses this drug, PT-141, or even the tanner itself. He said it's weaker. He said because your brain will adjust to it sexually. It's kind of like steroids, that you adjust your brain to, to being sexual from steroids, and then you need to be on those steroids. So your central nervous system will adjust, and it will need it. There's some dependence on it. So he thought that this, potentially for him, has caused some permanent change, and that when he came off it, even months later, on steroids and on testosterone, his libido just was never the same. So I, I lend that. I lend that to you guys that be very careful with all these drugs. Even if these drugs are cleared, it seems like this one's cleared. The PT-141 drug, Valisi, is cleared in America now for women. It's going to be incredible to see what happens on this. Sexual function is so important for us as human beings. It's such a base feature for human beings, and there's so many moving parts to it, so we're going to always be looking at these drugs as we move through time. I really hope this video helps you guys. Please stay strong and healthy. Thank you.